Dirt Connections, right here, right now. Good morning, my neighbors. I'm out here in Manassas, and uh, I got this pile of dirt here. They tell me it's six loads. I got to go ahead and load that on trucks on Friday and get it out of here. That's the plan, Dirt Connections, Dirt Hauling, Dirt Delivery, Construction Services in Maryland, Virginia, and D.C. Many thanks. Good morning, my neighbors. It's 5.30 a.m. in Bristow, Virginia. And I mobilized to the site. I dropped off the machine. I got Jonathan coming over with the quad axle. And we're gonna hump this dirt out of here. Unscreened fill dirt. The customer and I think we got six loads. I'll just have to consolidate this trash because this cannot go where the dirt goes. And then we can talk about that later. So, yeah, I'm ready for action. And as I walk over here, that felling trailer's five ton. It's long, it's nice, I like it. It does a great job. The new 450 man just drags the machine and the trailer, no fuss, no muss, with the 10 speed transmission and the diesel engine 6.7. Nice, I really like it, it's safe. We got more brakes, more power, better suspension. Does an excellent job. Just ran over here from Annandale at 55, nice and easy. No fuss, no muss. All right. Break time, coffee break, wait for Jonathan to show up, safety strategy meeting, then we'll get the six loads out of here. All right, my man Jonathan's on the scene. We're gonna back up and do our thing. Okay, we got the first load out of here, and Jonathan and I looked at this, and we think we got six or seven loads here. And that's what the math told me to begin with. So my customer already committed to six loads so Jonathan's gone he'll be back in about by 8 30 it's 7 30 we want to load them as heavy as possible but no overweight tickets so he'll be looking at the load I got my big bucket 84 inch bucket on there I use my smooth edge bucket to try and dress this up a little bit I'm going to dress this up a little bit on when I leave I got a you can you cannot take asphalt with the dirt you got you got to segregate this material so I'm going to clean this up the best I can so we don't get dinged at the disposal site and then I can talk to my customer later about you know what's left with the concrete and asphalt and concrete and asphalt you can't compare you can't combine that that's all got to be segregated Look at this big pile of concrete. I can maybe do something with the stone, but not with the concrete. So, yeah, we we got a day's work here. We're gonna load them as heavy as possible without breaking the law. And my goal is not to cheat my customer. And that's the name of that tune. Okay, so I got two loads out of here. The math told me we have six, possibly seven loads here. So I got two out, and I'm using the quad, which is helping me out a lot. So I'm going to load them up again. And then, of course, I'm picking through this because I don't want to upset the people at the disposal site for the dirt. You cannot, you cannot have that in the dirt. That's a problem. So, cleaning this out, I'll have to pick through this. The stone I can work with, but the concrete's got to go. Put that over there in a separate little pile. And my customer is going to be left with a pile of concrete, a pile of asphalt, and that's for another matter. But I'm kind of getting around it. And then I brought my smooth edge bucket so I can tidy up the place this is not me I, 
this is somebody else that did that but you know with my smooth edge bucket I'll tidy this up for my customer if I got time yeah so Jonathan should be back within a half an hour I'll load him up and we're rocking love my little machine I need new tracks for it all right, we got, more, we got four loads out, and I think we're going to go seven. I'm down to the last load. All right, so eight, lo to eight total loads. I clean the place up. Once I get this loaded, I'll put my straight edge bucket on there and just police up the area a little bit more. I'll put this concrete over there. And I made that little place for a washout. That was a concrete I collected. Then I collected all the asphalt that are over there and put it over there because someone needs to come. There's two loads here, one for asphalt, one for concrete. That's gotta go to a different disposal site. That concrete goes over there and this dirt is gone. And if I had my broom, I'd broom the place for him, but you know, I really just assigned to uh, all the dirt out so I'll clean the place up and make it look a little bit nicer and my customer cannot complain waiting on Jonathan one last load hey Jonathan's pulling out eight loads I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up tidy it up with the straight edge bucket thank you Jonathan all right I'll switch out the buckets tidy that up Put the concrete over there, load my buckets, load my machine, going back to the depot and Lord Fernando and, and Jonathan, thanks. Right. Jonathan and I kicked butt. Awesome. This was a mess. I did pretty good cleanup with my straight edge bucket. Pretty good. I think it looks nice. Organized it concrete washout asphalt material that's concrete material I got my machine I'm loaded I'm ready for the West Coast line hauler that's right that's what we used to call it back in the day so awesome job eight loads out have a nice day thank you folks Dirt Connections is right here right now Dirt Connections, the professionals.